it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And I believe, well, I'm going to roll my sleeves up for this one. I believe today I have one of the greatest pilsners in the world at my fingertips. Tegancy is a famous brand of lager in Germany. It's by Hörse Glosch, it's brew house. I'm very apologetic for the pronunciation of the brewery. But Tegensier Pils is a well-known beer. Well, well, well-known beer. 330 milliliter bottle, 5% ABV. And if I'm... The be yeah, bearish Bayern region of, Amer uh, of America, of Germany, of course. Not America, Germany. Um, it's in a dark brown bottle. <clears throat> so there's going to be no light bleeding through into that bottle whatsoever. So the, the product, the beer, has been kept in, in great condition. And I'm just really excited to get into it. Let's get into this. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Now this is going to be an interesting review because I've just finished reviewing a Werner's Gruner Pills. And that was called Pills Legend. And I thought, well I gave that beer a 10 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. So I'm back like five minutes later with a legend, a legend of a Pilsner. And I just wonder how it's going to stack up. Against, because there's lots of kind of like random German beers out there, isn't there? There's thousands and thousands and thousands of different German beers, Pilsners, Lagers, Hellers. And it's great to be able to kind of stack them up against each other, having the opportunity to do that. So we've got a one finger white head on this beer. Uh, it's very straw coloured, lovely levels of carbonation. I suppose my one criticism would be, and I hope you don't mind me picking up a little bit of a criticism here, is that normally German beers come in 500 milliliter bottles. 500 mil, 500 mil. They're usually in these two styles of bottles we have here. One long, one slightly stumpy. But they're both 500 milliliter. And of course, all of my German glassware accommodates a 500 milliliter beer. So whether they just want to be a little bit different, whether they want to kind of maybe lean into the craft crowd, the craft beer people who kind of like buy and, and, and you know, fair play, I'm one of them myself, buy slightly more expensive beer, maybe they, they kind of position this slightly higher in price and maybe put it in a 330 milliliter bottle. I, I suppose if you're a German brewer with so many different German breweries out there competing with you, you're obviously going to look for a point of difference, aren't you? So maybe Tag and C here, maybe their point of difference is that they want to put their beer in a smaller bottle and maybe charge a little bit more money for it and maybe try to kind of get that craft beer crowd involved. It is a 5.5% 5 .5 ABV. Lovely looking beer, it's kept its head really well. This beer is available from our channel sponsor beersreviewed.co.uk largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. If you've been away on holiday, if you've worked away and you found that fabulous beer, maybe after you've finished work or after you've worked away and you've found that beer and it's gone down lovely, or you're sitting on a beach somewhere on holiday and you found that perfect beer and you want to drink it back home, then the best place to find it would be beersofeurope.co.uk. It really would. Uh, let's get into this then. The aroma... Really light, 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 
light malt aromas, light wafer biscuits. Not much in the way of hops, to be honest with you. It's not kind of like pluming of hops out the glass. And it's just a little touch of a peppery and spicy note coming through. So this is going to be interesting then, really interesting to see what we have here in the glass. Let's get in. Cheers, everybody. It's incredible. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. It's incredible. But it's, it, I, I'm just going on the previous beer I've reviewed. It's not as bitter as the Werner Gruner. It's, it, it, it's not as bitter as that Pilsner. And it definitely doesn't have so much of a kind of like a sweet malt flavour. It is, and I can understand why this is a great, great beer. It is super crispy. It's a super light, crispy beer. That's the best way to describe it, crispy. If you think of German beer, if you think of the best German beers out there, we, did, we kind of describe them as being crispy. It's just... A, it, it's just a word we use in the industry that just seems to fit. It just seems to fit. It's crisp, it's light, it's refreshing, it's crispy. It's super crispy. And again, that's going to kind of land very nicely in the inbox of a craft beer lover, isn't it? A crispy pilsner. in a sea of German beer to make that point of difference to get the craft beer crowd involved and, 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 and kind of eyeballs of course and wallets of course wallets pointing in their direction they've produced here a, a truly tremendous crispy pilsner there's a little bit of light malt there's a little bit of bitterness. There's a little bit of pepperiness, a little bit of spiciness. There's a little bit of very small inkling of kind of stinging metal flavor. It's, it's very much. Now, the more I think about it, the more this makes sense. If you think of New England IPA, craft beer lovers absolutely love New England IPA. And that's because all of the flavour in that New England IPA is centred around the middle of the beer. It's not massively sweet over here. It's not massively bitter over here. It all retracts in. It all becomes very small. And there's just this kind of like bubble of pineapple, grapefruit, passion fruit, mango. But it's ultimately drinkable and the craft beer lovers love it. If you were to point that same philosophy, if you like, into this beer, it's very much the same thing, but without the passion fruit and mango and grapefruit. You taste it. And there's no real sweetness. And there's no real bitterness. It's just this very centralised middle of the beer. And, 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 and I think that's why this brewery's got so much traction in the craft beer world. Craft beer lovers from America, from UK, Belgium, France, Germany, they all know. They all know Tech and C as a brand. They all know it. And I think by pulling enough teeth 
I've just worked out why. And I'm quite proud of myself for that, actually. Quite proud of myself. The reason why this beer has so much traction in the craft beer world. Is it as good as the Werner Gruner Pilsner that I just reviewed? I think the Werner Gruner, if you ask me, had a little bit more about it. There was more sweetness, there was more bitterness, there was more of a battle going on, there was more of a fight. This beer is very brilliant in its own right. It's very brilliant in its own right. It's, it, it, it's, it's serving a purpose for people who just like super crispy Pilsner. Let's rate it. They are based in Tegernsee, in, in Germany. And I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, but not for the same reasons as I gave the Werner Gruner a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 for completely different reasons. I hope you liked the video. I hope you understood the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.